interesting. It's so freaking hot out. Our air conditioner crapped itself, so now we don't have one at all. I thought I would show you what I'm reading tonight. I'm actually starting my book club book, which is called The Wife Between Us. I guess it's like a thriller with obviously some romance on there. I'm not a big romance person. I really don't like it unless it's like a subplot usually. Um, but I'm gonna give this a go. It's a thriller. They say that it's unpredictable and that you shouldn't make any assumption assumptions. Can't say that word with this thing in my mouth. So we're gonna give it a go. I'm gonna start tonight and see how I feel. I've also been switching off between this one and David Sedaris' new book, which is hysterical. I'm already loving it. I think it's probably one of the deeper books that he's written. There's a lot that comes up um, about his sister and um, her death and how that's affected their family and just a lot to do with like sibling relationships and relationships with your parents and your spouse and stuff like that. So I'm really enjoying it so far. I like how it's a little bit different. Can we just talk about how I never do that? Ever. Like you couldn't pay me a million bucks. Something could go wrong. That thing could just collapse. The is coming down. Good morning, everybody. It is Sunday morning, and it is just after 9 o'clock. Myself and Briar just went and picked up uh, the cat some wet cat food because she's on a freak out. She's just been eating dry food. Not that she's starving, but she's spoiled. So I picked her up some Rachel Ray um, because I like the way that you can see the ingredients that's actually in it. Um, and it's also grain free, which I think is better for her. And maybe she'll love us when we get home. And then we are actually off to breakfast with Kate and Aiden. We're, we hit Miss Worcester on my birthday and I went with my mom and my sister like right after that because I loved it so much. They're actually going just right across this or right around the corner to a place called Corner Lunch. It's another really small diner. We're hoping to hit it before um, all the people get out of church and head in the same direction we are. But yeah, so the three of us might stop over to Goodwill um, and if they don't want to go, I'm going to go and I'm going to do a bit of a thrifting book haul. Let's show you guys my shirt. This is the one I got in my box. It's really cool. I love the print on it. You can't see my bun. I look like I'm bald and I'm all bangs, but I promise there's more to me than that. I'm so excited to eat though. I told Briar not to let me order something with eggs in it because I can have eggs whenever I want. Speak of the devil. She's like Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. She's drinking it like water. Oh my god. walking from Goodwill to uh, WPI to meet up with Briar. I'm sweating. My bags are heavy. I bought too much stuff. But I only spent $25, which is pretty good considering the cool goods that I got and I can't wait to show you guys. But I wanted to show you real quick um, Institute Park. I don't see them now, but there's always a family of geese, a family of ducks, and a family of white swans that are here. The pond is huge. It looks really stagnant right now, which is weird because of all the weather we're having, but just totally green and pretty. Nice gazebos, and I believe there's a spot where you, they do concerts and stuff on the other side. Anywho, I'm gonna keep walking, but... Ooh. Isn't the campus gorgeous? I know you can't see the whole thing, but... Kind of takes you outside of the city a little bit, which is nice because the rest of the city's kind of a shithole. I like it. It reminds me of Keene. I'm waiting for Briar to come downstairs and let me in. All right guys, so I am officially home. I have changed myself back into my PJs because today is Sunday and I'm not doing anything because I got all my work done. So, I'm making myself some popcorn and if you can't tell by the background, when I was at Goodville, I picked up one of my favorite movies of all time. And while we're here talking about all things bookish, it's Matilda. Matilda? is a movie that I could watch over and over and over again and if you ask my sister what the years of sharing a room with me was like she could probably use the word Matilda to sum it all up 
because I used to make her watch it. Like, we'd start the movie before bed and only get halfway through, and then instead of finishing the second half the next night, I'd start it over. Like, I would just rewatch it over and over again until she wanted to cry. She was only like three or four at the time, but she remembers it plain to say, which is, which I think is hilarious. But Matilda is definitely a favorite and I can't wait to watch it, yes. Just here living my best life. The perfect afternoon, huh, monkey? Is it the perfect afternoon? Do you want some popcorn? For better? <laughs> Are you gonna fight me? Most parents believe their children are the most beautiful creatures ever to grace the planet. Others take Alright guys, so I just got home a little bit ago and I am getting ready to do up some dinner for Briar and I and I was going to show you um, just how I put together this recipe that I'm making. I'm doing spaghetti squash with um, just like chicken and vegetables, a uh, chicken and vegetable sauce. Um, it's something quick and simple. Um, it's tolerable to cook in the heat and it's absolutely Tuesday morning um, I got up a little bit ago but I've just been hanging out in bed because I am in no rush this morning um, I'm working at 9 but I have plenty of time to get ready um, it's just a little bit past 7 so I'm up and I'm gonna start getting my hair and makeup accomplished tonight is date night um, Briar and I I don't know if anyone else can relate to this if you live with your significant other people assume that you get to see them all the time and in our case that's not always possible um briar works a lot of nights um working in the lab and doing writing and i work obviously mostly a normal schedule but i also work on editing and filming and um writing and i do a lot of reading so sometimes during the week um we feel like we don't even get to see each other so it's nice to sit down and either um, choose to go out for the night or stay in and hang out together and just sort of catch up and chat and goof off. I think tonight um, we're going to pick up Chipotle. Guilty pleasure. So we don't have to worry about cooking and then um, like watch a movie and play some board games. I'm looking forward to that. I am dressed. It's going very basic today. Not caring. I did want to update you guys a little bit on my reading. I mentioned in my first video online that I was reading um, a book club book. This is the one. It's The Wife Between Us. I'm on page 60. So far, I'm kind of like so-so. I think that right now we're doing just like a lot of character building, which is fine. But for me, there's not a whole lot of 
there's nothing special about the situation yet. Uh, right now, you know, she's dealing with the fact that her ex-husband is marrying some younger girl and um, it switches off between her first person narrative and also the narrative of Nellie, who is the younger girl who's now marrying her ex-husband. Um, so you're getting to know both of them. I sense that there's a deeper um, problem with one of the characters. I won't give away too much in case you guys want to check it out. Um, but I'm sensing there's like a greater issue with one of the characters and I'm waiting for that to come out more. But otherwise, yeah, I'm trying to just push through the first bit because it's supposed to be a super thriller and right now it's really just sending us through the motions of getting to know the situations of the characters and it's really nothing that a normal person wouldn't go through in that kind of situation so i'm hanging in there i'm gonna finish it um i'm hoping to get more of it read um today during lunch and also um tonight after brian and i you know finish wrapping up our games and our movie. I'll keep you guys sort of updated on my my first thoughts, my first impressions as we go because like I said, it, it, I'm my comfort zone and eh. This is breakfast. Now comment down below if anyone else has eaten cantaloupe like this with a spoon. Instead of chopping it all up and taking the time to cut it, you just spoon it out. It's like, it's like a bowl within itself. Always, always good. Oh, I can't muffle my ears. I'm afraid I'm gonna drop the camera. <laughs> oh my god. I just used my thumb. Oh, that way, that way towards the bathroom. Yeah, I know. I'm so scared. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. It's gonna happen. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Monkey did that ski, you scared me. All right guys, so I just got back home from work and Brian and I just picked up Chipotle for dinner. It's gonna be champagne and Chipotle and movies and fun games. I'm gonna beat him. And I don't have to work in the morning, so. One of the most delicious creations in the whole world. Go ahead, you little chow hound. I'm zooming in on her tongue. <laughs> that's bizarre. Yeah, that's really weird. <laughs> Good morning all and happy Thursday. And Brian and I are going to run to Duncan's to pick up some coffee real quick to start fueling our day. If anyone's wondering um, what happened to my face, I had my computer sitting on my lap and I have a Mac so it's all made of metal and the laptop came down and cracked me on the bridge of my nose. Felt great. Otherwise I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do today. Later tonight we are doing a Hopefully it doesn't rain. If it doesn't rain, we're gonna go over to Bancroft Tower and have a picnic with Kate and Aiden. If it does rain, we'll probably just have them over to the apartment for dinner. Well, I do not think that this is what I will be wearing all day, but just to run out, I throw on these high-waisted pair of jeans. Um, I haven't really worn these much this summer at all. Um, these, just a, what do you call it? Army green crop top. These sandals, which are gonna get tossed this summer after the summer's over because I've worn them for two years straight and they look a little rough and then just this floral hat it'll work hey guys I just got back from doing a fun bit of shopping for you all actually um, I will give more details about that later on right now I am trying to figure out what I'm gonna make for a picnic that we're going on later I think I have decided on pinwheel sandwiches red potato salad I think I'm gonna do a passion tea lemonade, but I'm going to start boiling my potatoes. I'll oh, stick you there for right now. What are you doing, guys? Hi. I love her little feet. Look at them. You're very cute. Oh, you're so sweet to me. So, since you can tell from the last time I saw you, I am now showered. Um, I did attempt to do my hair. It's nice and wavy, but it's too friggin' hot to let it sit on me. So up it goes. I've just got on this super cute um, botanical looking romper. Um, 
I actually picked this up at Walmart. I love it because it's super baggy. Um, it gives the illusion of a dress, but there's comfort involved. So I've just thrown my hair up, uh, thrown in these earrings, and that is as fancy as it's gonna get. Attempting bangs down. Um, we shall see how long that lasts. Something's going on downstairs with someone's car. It ain't mine, so. I do have to run to the store to get a few extra things, but for now, I am going to wrap up the potato salad that I'm making. I've got my potatoes. Doop. Okay guys, so I'm finding it 100% difficult to motivate myself as far as office goes today, but uh, to make up for lack of productivity in that front, um, I've been sort of trying to declutter the house a little bit. I'm feeling a little claustrophobic in this tiny little apartment, and I thought it would be fun to see what's in my junk drawer. I'm not sure about your family, but my mom and even my dad growing up, I always, there were always junk drawers in the house that just, you'd find the most random things. If you couldn't find something, check the junk drawer. My mom swears by them, and when we moved in, Briar told me that I could not have one, and I argued with him, and now I have this tiny little bottom drawer um, that we have found actually very useful to keep all of my junk in. So I thought it'd be fun to go through and see what actually is in here and get rid of all the stuff that maybe we don't need. So this is the junk drawer. Uh, you see there's a lot at the top, but there's also a lot uh, underneath. It goes deeper. First thing is a lighter, birthday candles, sunscreen, it's my drill. <laughs> Hashtag adulting when a vacuum and a drill is your favorite Christmas presents. Bag of furniture. I don't know what you call these. Two of these gems, scent plugins, mini packs of tissues in case you have cold, an array of vacuum cleaner things. This, 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 this. This one looks like it could come in handy if you have a carpet, but we don't have a carpet in here anymore. Oh well. Here's another. Shopping. These actually, we have not used. They're useless in this drawer, but I should put them in the car because these are for um, carrying up your um, shopping bags. This heavy duty flashlight. Another pack of tissues. The charger for the drill. Two things of screws. This is a baggie of exactly what we have a junk drawer for. Junk. Hold on to it just in case, I guess. An X-Acto knife. Off Deepwood Sportsman insect repellent. A light bulb. Wax cubes for a, like, scent diffuser. This is a package of catnip. A thing of matches. Tiny hammer, which also has a million and one tiny screwdrivers inside. Ancient Germex from Bath & Body Works. A Tide to Go pen. Another vacuum tool. Batteries for things I have no idea. Green tea bag. This whatever you call it. A ton of command hooks with no stickies. So those are useless as well. A tiny little pack of Rolaids in case you have heartburn. So that's it. I don't really see the point in getting rid of anything, but it's good to know what's in there. And I'm shoving it all back in. Ugh. Good morning, guys. It is Saturday morning, and I am getting ready to go do my 9 to 5 thing today. Briar just left for a doctor's appointment. Um, he had to go to Newburyport, but he will be back later. I'm not really sure what the day has in store past work. Um, I want to apologize in full for this week's vlog being a little bit on the boring side. Uh, there's not been much going on except work and more work and picking up the house, so... Uh, yeah, this week is a little bit dull, but on uh, next weekend I have the weekend off and we will also be doing something fun tomorrow So next week should be a lot better. I'm gonna come home and pick up a bit and then probably I don't know plan out the week tomorrow I think we're gonna try to go to the beach if it's nice out which will be great because we've not made many beach trips this summer. It's actually a tiny bit cooler out right now, which is absolutely amazing. There's a breeze and it's the high today is going to be 77, which is about 12 or 13 degrees less than what it has been the past week. So sleeping last night was actually bearable, which probably makes for why I am not as dead tired as I have been.
job there at Vista Foods and they only gave him a couple hours so we ended up quitting without telling anybody just stopped showing up <laughs> this is the street that I grew up on really from the time I was nine until and this brown house is where I grew up this is where my sister lived from the time she was her first birthday we had we moved in right before her first birthday and then we lived there until I was a sophomore in college. One of my mom's best friends used to live down there. We spent a lot of time on Pine Extension. My sister went to elementary school down there at Woodland Heights Elementary. I've ever and Bree have been together for seven years. Seven years. <laughs> yeah, I just had to think because seven didn't sound right. But then, yeah, seven years. River was 15 when they met. Now he's going to be 23. That's where you got hit by the car. Uh, it was down that way a bit, yeah. but. Yeah, we got smashed real going? good. Yeah, seven years is a long time. Sometimes it feels that that long and sometimes it doesn't. Look at that. Holy smokes. Right here in farm country. You're not yawning, are you? Wake up now. That over there is the first ever TJ Maxx that I worked at. And the summer after I worked there, I promised myself I'd never work there ever again. Now what? And now I work at TJ Maxx, everybody. You asked me to get an order of fries. I did like three times. So I was like, make sure to get the order of fries. Make sure to get the order of fries. I really want some fries. I did not hear the word fries come out of your mouth. We're pulling into Briar's Secret Addiction in Wendy's. A creepy man lives in their house. And then coming up down here, I can't believe that Linda actually died. So there's that. And this is our home sweet home. Home sweet home. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. We're on your mom. Oh, you <laughs> Don't bite. I'm gonna play with the phone thing. Remember? Yes, you did. Wait. Oh, my friend CJ, you fucking asshole. You fucking. Why are you doing your bunny it? kicks? Show I'm happy to be home with you. There's a quietness to home that you don't get in Worcester. I love it in the morning. <laughs> 